Hi, this is Susabelle from Patrick Chicken Studio. And today I thought I would uh, do a video about one of my machines that gets used a lot. Um, I have three machines that get used consistently a lot. I have about 12 or 13 machines total, um, all vintage. Um, even my serger is vintage, but this is one of the machines that gets used the most. And what I use this one for is to sew our denim hot pads, the pot holders. And um, this machine belongs belongs and belonged to my mother. It's on permanent temporary loan, which is a fancy way of saying she gave it to me. And if she ever wants it back, she can have it back, but she won't. <laughs> we and we've been using that phrase in my family for a long time. It's it's just a funny thing. So anyway, um, she got this when I was just a baby, and it was a floor model, I believe, and probably from about 1959 or 1960. And I was born in '61, so. Um, she used this to sew a lot of my baby clothes and of course all of, all of our clothes growing up uh, costumes we have a lot of costumes came off of this machine um, home decor stuff all kinds of things so and probably some draperies along the way too um, the cool thing about this machine is that it's 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 different from some of my standard my singer machines um, was made in Italy and it is a super high precision machine it doesn't mean that singers aren't uh, I have several singers that are super high precision as well, but this is like driving an Italian sports car uh, for comparison, as opposed to, you know, your standard Volkswagen Beetle. <laughs> I guess that's a good way to put that. Um, and I love this machine. Um, and I love its strength and I love the fact that it just can kind of sew through everything that I want to put in under it. As long as I can get it underneath the presser foot, it will sew it. Um, and so what I needed I was struggling to sew these denim hot pads and I tried several machines um, that really weren't doing a good job. And the, the problem is there's a lot of layers in these in these hot pads, these pot holders. And so there is a, a little quilt that we that's the top. So it's got a little quilt. And it's two layers of fabric and there's some cotton batting in there. And then there's this layer of Insel Bright. And this is a metal mesh. You can kind of see that shiny in there. There's a metal mesh inside here with batting on both sides. And this is what keeps that heat away from your hands. It kind of wicks it away. Um, it's also why if you get a hot pad wet, suddenly you're burning yourself. But this goes in here. And then there's this layer of denim. So I get my layer of denim on the back and this gets folded over on these edges and stitched down and I use a zigzag stitch to hold it down and then when I get to the corners they're super thick because I've folded this over here um, and it also can sew these little tabs on the back you can see look at that that's not going anywhere that tab is there for life um, but I needed something that could do this kind of work and make these smooth flat zigzag seams here and this one does it, does it perfectly. I, the other machines I tried could do it, but always had some sort of a fail point. So I like this machine, um, and it's what we call a high shank machine. So the presser foot has a tall shank on it here. So these presser feet have a taller shank here as opposed to uh, a short shank. So short shank is a little lower where it attaches to the machine so low shank or short shank and then this one is super super high and the super high ones I don't know why um, I feel like they're stronger but I don't really know the, the science or the physics behind that um, but also this machine has a little more clearance between the presser foot and the plate than some of my singer machines so I can get more in there so when I'm sewing these hot pads I have to get all of this underneath that presser foot to sew it. So it um, works well for that. And it, it has a lot of attachments. So mom still had all the stuff that went with it. So I'll show you. So it's got a lot of attachments, it's got extra things. But there's a really cool thing I wanted to show you. So the plates on these machines, that, and this goes, this goes under your presser foot and your needle goes through here. This one is a straight stitch only, left homing. If you know about sewing machines, you'll know what that means. If you don't, don't worry about it. It's not important. Uh, but one of the cool things is it didn't come with stitch markers on the plate. Now, a lot of machines that I have have stitch markers on the plate for five-eighths, for a quarter, for three-eighths. So you have a stitch mark line that you can follow. Well, this didn't come with it. Did you see those little etches in here? My dad did that. 
My dad did that to make this machine work well for my mom. So how cool is that? My dad's a machinist by trade. Um, he's still with me. He's 88 years old. Um, my mom is also still with us. So um, she's, she's 83. Um, but he did this etching here so she would have these marks. And what a lot of people do when they don't have these marks on the plate, um, they'll put a piece of tape here or a magnet. It's not unusual to lay a magnet on the machine like one of these because magnet will lay on the machine it'll give you a line to stitch by um, so there's lots of ways to do that but it's it's easier to have the lines so my dad did that and he did that there's a plate on here already this is my zigzag plate and it has the etches in it this one has etches in it as well and I think this was custom for something else you see how far apart those are so this one looks like about an inch uh, maybe a little more so anyway, that's a cool thing, customized, right? This one that has the etching in it as well that my dad put in there. And of course, there's a lot of feet and a lot of, a lot of odds and ends in here. Um, there's some bobbins, which one of these has quilting thread on it, which is funny because um, we use quilting thread to sew everything now. Uh, it's great cotton thread, but she was keeping this separate for a project and I just left it in there. And it's got her handwriting on it. Um, my mother has beautiful handwriting. So it's kind of a, it's more of a, a memory thing. And like when she's gone, I'll have her handwriting. <laughs> Silly, huh? And uh, there's lots of other things in here. But um, I have all of this to work with. And it. she also still had, and it's in plastic for a reason. This is sewing machine oil. Of course, this is old oil and I would never use it. But look at that pink and, white and cream striped can. And it's in a bag because if it tips over, it's going to leak. And so... Isn't that sweet? Still has its little oil can. And somebody on the internet on one of my sewing machine groups actually had the manual um, because mom didn't didn't have the manual. So now I have the original, what would have come with the machine. So this is, I call her Lelia because that's her name. Made in Italy, super strong and powerful, very much a precision stitch machine. Um, and I love her and I use her uh, every week. So that tells you a little bit about her. Um, I'd love to hear your comments. If there are questions you have about how she works or, or why I like her so much, feel free to put those in the comments. I answer all comments on our YouTube channel and on Facebook as well. Um, but yeah, this is Lelia. And I will be back next week with another machine in Deep Dive uh, to tell you how it works. Thanks for watching.